Good morning, it's Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And believe it or not, these are lightweight. These are lightweight winter pajamas and I'm thrilled to death to be able to wear them. It is pretty early in the morning. I have just my face on, I have on mascara and no eyeshadow. I always wear lipstick. But I don't know what I'm gonna do today, so I don't know what else I'm going to do with my hair and my makeup. And today I'm gonna do my backup skincare and my hair products that I have in backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm starting with the Purity Made Simple. Purchased this a long time ago. It is still sealed. I have one about this size that's opened in the bathroom. I have some little small ones and a friend of mine sent me this. It is the Purity Made Simple. This is probably the only cruelty-free skincare item that I I don't know if I'll repurchase it or not, but it's still my favorite and I've used it for almost 20 years. When I purchased this, I got like three of them and they were all 30% off. So I'm still working through that. So that's in my backup. And with the exception of that little set, everything in here I have purchased myself. I have my backup of my IT Cosmetics Miracle Water. I'm using the IT Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream and then I have the IT Secret Sauce. I just really like this a lot. This one I'm on my first, the eye cream, I still have quite a bit of it left. I've opened my second secret sauce, so I have a backup, and then I have, and this one I've opened my second. And I bought these last year. I'm signed up for It Cosmetics emails, and they had 30% off, and Ebates was 13% off that day. So I, I buy ahead, I leave it unopened, and I'll show you where I keep my items if I can take a picture because it's kind of dark in there. So those are some backups. I ordered this on 21818, and it's a timeless hyaluronic acid, and I buy it in the big refill, and these are good for a minimum of two years after you open them. So I have this, and something I want to share with you. When you refill your bottles, I keep all my bottles, but when you wash them, you want to remove this, you want to take this off, and you want to take this third part out like this and wash them in four pieces. And if you really wash them well and let them air dry, they'll be good. And I, I keep my bottles and I refill from that big box. So I just wanted to show that. These come apart in four pieces. On 2-18-18, I also purchased the Matrixel 3000. I leave them open like this. I also have it written on my bottle when I purchased it because that to me lets me know that I've opened it. And again, it'll say on the website where, um, how long it's good for, and those are good for two years. I don't have a backup of the Eye Concentrate from Timeless. I opened my last one and it will last me six months. And I, I have a note that I keep what I need and when I need it. The vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid, I have a new one that's opened in my refrigerator and I just store it in there. And I know that's gonna last four months plus probably a week or so. If I don't spill it, that's how long it'll last. I use that every single day. So I don't have backups on those. When I just need one item, what I usually do is I'll go to Amazon uh, I have a 25% discount link, but even at that, sometimes it's cheaper on Amazon, and I have never had any problems with anything I received from Amazon. But the refills I bought when they had the 50% off $75 order, that's when I purchased those. So those are a couple items that I don't have in backup. The other item I don't buy a backup of is the Benigma. One jar lasts me eight months, and when I'm ready to get a new one, I'll just go in, I'm a, I'm like a subscriber, and I'll let them know to go ahead and send it, because I told them to keep me on hold until I let them know. And so uh, probably about a month before it is empty, I'll order another one. I have the backup of my Kakai oil. I love it on my neck. I've, I haven't graduated to using it anywhere, but I enjoy this, and I know it's helped me. I also have a backup of The Ordinary. AHA, BHA, it's a 30% AHA, and it's red, and I have that. And I use the niacinamide from The Ordinary, and I use it just really on my nose, and right here, and here, and here. 
that's really where I have more pores and I don't think I need it on the rest of my face. So I have one in my dressing room and one in my bedroom. It's the only item that I use both morning and night, but I have that written down to watch because I will order that from Beautylish and I'll wait until I need something else from Beautylish because I don't like to pay shipping and handling. And they used to sell it on Sephora and I can't find it on Sephora. So I have a backup for that. I have a backup of the Aquaphor Healing Ointment. This doesn't work for my lips, but I love it for my elbows, or if for some reason I have a little area on my skin that gets kind of aggravated, Jim will use this. I think this is a fabulous product. And it's a healing ointment from Aquaphor, and it's made by Eucerin. And I am a huge fan of products by Eucerin, and I especially like the tub. That, that will help Jim so much when he has a dry spot. He, it even is better than this for him. But the generic Houston works really well too. And as far as derma rollers go, I only use the 0.5 millimeter right now. And I use that on my face once a week. I have one for my face and I have one for my hair. The only ones I have backed up are the one millimeter. I know I ordered one from uh, Amazon and one from Skin Diva. And I don't know if I'll ever use the one again. If I decide to, to work on any scars, I don't know if I will or not. But I've got both of those, and I have it noted when to reorder another 0 0.5. So that is what I have in my skincare. I think I've covered all of it. So now I'm going to show you what I have in my backup hair care. And I think it's plenty. Some people, you know, everybody is comfortable with different amounts of things. Last year, I bought three Kenra hairsprays. I have not used up the first one and I have two of the volume 25 hairsprays and eventually I'll use them I haven't opened them I haven't squirted them so I know they'll be good now these items I purchased and then through Octoly I was able to receive some items that I'd already purchased for free and I really like both of them so I'm still using the ones that I purchased. And this is the Kenra Dry Volume Burst. Really like it. And the Kenra Blow Dry Spray. And my beautician uses this and she doesn't even use Kenra products in her salon. But she said it really helps cut down the blow dry time. What I like, it keeps my hair from getting frizzy. Or too frizzy. It's going to be frizzy when the dew points up and the humidity's high. But I don't use very much of this. It smells good and it tames my hair. And I didn't notice if it helped with the blow dry time. But since that's her profession and she uses it, she, I believe that it does. Because it doesn't take my hair long to blow dry anyway. Because I normally let it almost air dry anyway. Some of you know I use a derma roller on my scalp every time I wash it. And I usually let three days go in between. I wash it, let three days go by, and then wash it again. And immediately when it's wet, I'll do. I'll link a video. I had this on when I did it. Uh, I remember that. I put probably ten pumps in when my hair is wet after I've derma rolled it, and I have a backup of that. And then just because I always have, and I have no idea if this helps or not, but I think it does. And it's the Pantene Leave-In Serum. And I started using this probably four years ago. So after I use that, I go ahead and put this on. And I'm still really pleased with the thickness of this part of my hair. That's the part that was bothering me, that I was losing hair. So I have two of those backups. I'm pretty sure you can't get them at the store. I ordered mine from Amazon. That's where I found them uh, the least expensive. But I think you can order them from Walmart. And I will link, if I can find that link, I'll link that below. And I bought a backup of the Kakai Naturals, the hair elixir. And I use this all around the parameter of my face the night before I'm going to wash my hair. I've also been using the uh, Nioxin the night before I shampoo my hair, on, you know, on my scalp. And then I let that dry and then I use this around the parameter. And because I use Retin-A, a lot of times my scalp would get dry right around there. And it doesn't if I use it. And I also put it on the ends of my hair. And I like it. And I have a backup of the Shea uh, Black African Soap. And I'll tell you what I love this for. I like it to clean my brushes. It has Shea 
it's just very gentle on my brushes. Some of mine, most, most of my brushes are synthetic, but I do have some cruelty-free real, that are real hair, that are brushes for my face. And this works really well instead of using like the olive oil and the Dawn. And I don't usually have a ton of brushes to do at one time anyway. I don't use a whole lot of face brushes, but I would just go in there and clean it with this and then wipe it off and do it again. And my brushes get white and I really, I really like this. And I know there's a lot of other products out there that are good. But that's just kind of what I've been using because I think it does condition my brushes also. And it's easy. And you know I like easy. And you know what? That is all I have in my backups. I gave my daughter a few things. But I was really pleased that I have rotated. And yeah, I am. So here's a photo of the cabinet I keep my products in. It is in the foyer. It's dark. It doesn't get sunlight. And I keep the door shut. And that's how I maintain my skincare and my hair care items. Before I announce the winners of my last two giveaways, I wanted to let you know that I am on jury duty the month of November. So if you don't hear back from me very quickly, you'll know that I have been called as a juror. I want to give a quick update on Sheila from the channel Life with Lily. A lot of my subscribers are also subscribed to her. And if you're not, I'll put a link to her video below. She is doing very well. She saw her doctor on on Wednesday. And the reason she's in so much pain is because a lot of nerve involvement. But she's doing as well as she can with the exception of the pain. And she goes back to the doctor tomorrow, uh, the 12th of this month. Hopefully, she's going to do a video on everything that she ordered online that she didn't remember ordering when she was under the <laughs> influence of her pain medications. But anyway, I hope she shares that. The winner of the Emily Edit Needs Palettes and the five Eco Tool Five Piece Eye Defining Brushes are the first name that was drawn was Kay Smith. Congratulations, Kay. The second winner was Sheila Dennis. Congratulations, Sheila. And please leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to contact me. It Cosmetics sent me the Today Special Value and I decided to give all of it away in two parts. The first part, I ask for you to say the word face and the products that have the asterisks are the products that you will win. And that winner is Susan Moore. Congratulations, Susan. And the next name that was drawn, and this was what I called Dream, and it's the products that have the heart by it. Those products were, were, were won by Della Hayes. And congratulations, Della. Be sure to leave a comment below. You know what? It is all good. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Y'all take care.